Today I want to talk to you about turtles. Yeah, I know. Weird, right? Okay, so here's what happened. I was reading an article about these guys and they were trying to go duck hunting in the middle of the winter, but the ice and the ponds were frozen over, so obviously no ducks. But they were walking home and all of a sudden one of them freaked out because he looked down at the pond that they were walking over that was frozen and underneath the ice was a massive, I mean like massive uh, alligator snapping turtle. I mean huge. Startled him, scared him, and caused him to stop and take a look. And the turtle actually slightly moved its head to look at them. But I stopped short and said, wait, hold the phone. What just happened? Turtles have to breathe. You know this. I know this. You see them coming up. You see their little nose above the surface of the water. And then you see them dip back down when your kayak gets close to them. How is this possible? So I began to research this. And here's what I discovered. If the air drops below freezing, you're going to die. Because you're a turtle. You're an ectotherm. Meaning your body is exactly the same temperature as the surrounding environment that you are in. So if it drops below freezing, your body drops below freezing. And the ice crystals pierce the cellular structure of your body. And you die. Uh, no one can survive this. But here's what you also know. You know that water is warmer than the air in that situation because it takes a lot more energy to cool the body of water than it does to cool the air. So you get in the water. But here's the other problem. You have to breathe. How is this possible? You're an air breather. Here's what they end up doing. They know it's getting cold, so they go all the way under the water because the then the ice at the surface of the water actually kind of forms a an insulation layer that keeps the water under the ice from freezing. So they're under the ice, but how do they keep from drowning, right? Typically, an alligator snapping turtle can hold its breath for as long as 50 minutes in the summertime, in the normal environment. So what, how is it possible then for months to not die? Well, it's like this. When they get extremely cold like that, it goes into an extremely low metabolic uh, 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 mode, so to speak. Ultra, uh, you could say it's a super, super low, slow mode where they're almost burning no calories and almost needing, you know, very, just almost no oxygen. And here's the craziest part. We normally absorb oxygen through our lungs, but turtles, they have these highly vascularized surfaces in, in their body, like their butt, that though as the water passes over, can their body can absorb slight amounts of oxygen from the water. Even though they can't get to the surface and breathe through their lungs, they can absorb just a tiny amount through their butt. And this is called cloacal respiration. They're breathing through their butts underwater, you guys. What the heck is even happening? But as this goes on for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, the oxygen in that water is depleting. It's becoming hypoxic. So then what are they going to do? These turtles flip out of normal oxygen-based uh, metabolism and they switch into an even lower mode but it's a similar process to how when we do not not aerobic exercise but anaerobic exercise we get like lactic acid build up in our muscles get extreme soreness and so forth well they flip over into an even lower non-oxygen based mode and then to offset the act the acid build up in their muscle muscles they draw calcium out of their shell to offset that acid buildup, just like you and I would take a Tums, an antacid, when we get uh, heartburn. So you, are you anyone else mind just completely blown by this? So then they are able to stay alive under the ice without coming up for air. Check this out. Normally 50, normally 50 minutes is as long as they can go without breathing. They can go this way for like 100 days. What? Just what? And then in the spring, everything thaws and they come up and their body's still not flipped over into a normal mode. It's chock full of all this acid. They feel like so sore, so much pain as their body's trying to rid of all this acid that has been built up. And they're lethargic and they're extremely vulnerable and it's very dangerous for them. But guys, come on. If this does not freak you out, if this does not blow your mind, I mean, and you, and you go, Pastor Tim, why are you talking about turtles instead of Jesus? Well, I am talking about Jesus. Come on, pay better attention. But man, come on, turtles, man, turtles. <laughs> what? Come on.